Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I want to introduce you to a exercise for your back. Those of you who struggle with compressed um, lumbar thoracic area, we're talking about the lower lumbar and the thoracic area right now specifically. I know a lot of you have back pain. Um, there's a back pain caused by uh, protruding disc, bulging disc, or uh, herniated disc, where the the pulpit comes out of the the disc. So, what this is for? Why why there's weights here is uh, um, and there's I use two pillows. I'm a big guy, around six two, um, two hundred and thirty five pounds. So, I need two pillows instead of one. If you're a smaller person, you can only use one pillows, and you see how it's it's uh, uh right towards the end of the bed you can actually move move it back like that and you're gonna lay over it so your bot your head's gonna be right here and your butt your stomach's gonna be over here and what that's gonna do is create an arc and it's gonna create tension and these weights right here i use 12 pound weights um you can use five pounds if you you have a hard time lifting heavier weights um 10 pounds is about the right um, wait for what I need to do for my, my body. And what I do is I lay over this with my, kind of my chest and I hang over. And then if you notice the weights will be, you'll be holding the weights like this. This is my left arm and the other right arm will be, uh, congruent when you're laying down. What this do is it does is it de decompresses your lumbar spine, lower lumbar and parts of your thoracic spine and it helps alleviate pain because what you're doing is you're using gravity uh other uh other things people do is they go to a playground and they hang from the monkey bars um that's helpful but um this is something you can do at home uh it's convenient nobody's looking at you and uh, um it, it really does the job uh you what you want to do is you want to lay two or more minutes like that if you can um, some of you can't uh, handle the blood uh, rushing to your brain, but if you can tolerate it, hang for um, two minutes, and you'll notice that your uh, your spine and the if you, even if you have idiopathic pain, pain like neuropathy, where they can't figure out what the pain comes from, uh, uh, small fiber neuropathy when the myelin sheaths of the small fibers die out and the conduction or transfer of electronic signals in the nerves dies out in your small fibers which cannot be picked up by MRIs or CAT scans um, allowing decompression or stretching allows for these uh, neural pathways to become more uh, become more fluent and allow for pain and uh, to be alleviated oxygenated blood to travel to these these areas that are now decompressed and you'll find that um, even with idiopathic pain, pain that uh, your doctors uh, basically diagnose you with idiopathic pain if they can't figure out empirically where the pain is coming from. Um, there's so many reasons why people have back pain other than herniated discs and bulging discs or uh, spinal stenosis. And you'll get into those uh, fibromyalgia, uh, especially with neuropathy, usually is in uh, tandem with small fiber neuropathy and uh, fibromyalgia. Usually someone with small fiber neuropathy might have paired uh, fibromyalgia diagnosis. So you all have a great day and uh, enjoy this beautiful Saturday. Bye-bye.